own community and throughout the world. So thank you again very much. I want to also commend uh, and thank the uh, Allen Temple AIDS Ministry and all of you for uh, staying the course and for not turning back. Uh, so many people are being uh, helped and you're saving so many lives. Uh, in spite of some of the, the bumps in the road, uh, you've got to continue doing this. It is so important because the, the work that you do uh, to help people uh, living with HIV and AIDS uh, is really um, very critical in this, um, many would say, is missionary work also. And so it's so important to uh, continue to do this and to, and to rev it up also. So anything that I can do through our congressional office, anything as chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, we can do to make sure that the people that you're serving in uh, Zimbabwe receive the care and treatment and the antiretroviral drugs, whatever they need, uh, we want to help you. Uh, the AIDS ministry, as you know and have heard, has provided uh, support to people living with HIV and AIDS uh, in Zimbabwe for nearly uh, 10 years. Um, and their work with the Mother of Peace Orphanage, many in this community have, have met my Mother Jean, and uh, she's a phenomenal uh, work uh, woman. She uh, has helped to save the lives of countless numbers of AIDS orphans uh, and provided them hope for a um, better future. Mama Jean. Mama Jean. Mama Jean. Uh, also, I was the author of the um, Orphans and Vulnerable Children's Act, which was signed into law by President Bush. And so that established an, an office in uh, the State Department that focuses on orphans and vulnerable children. And so this w was really inspired by, uh, in many ma ways, Mama Jean and what was taking place in Zimbabwe when, when I met her and learned of the work and with working with Dr. Scott. And so we wrote that bill. And Pastor Smith, I'm, I'm confident that because this has been a bipartisan effort that we're going to maintain and sustain th this momentum and, and do even more, uh, regardless of um, what takes place uh, that oftentimes may um, look like we're being sent back a step or two. But of course, like um, all of us, we were very dismayed to learn of the arrest of this great group right here, members of the Allen Temple AIDS Ministry in Zimbabwe last month. Immediately after learning the arrest, of course, uh, my job as, as a member of Congress uh, and as a, a person who believes that um, our State Department is there and they too understand they're there to ensure the um, safety and the, the fair treatment of American citizens on the ground in Zimbabwe, they were really very helpful and they were um, able to make sure that we addressed and had access and addressed the needs of my constituents. Uh, I think that Gloria and everyone will agree that our U.S. consular officers in Zimbabwe uh, performed admir admirably and they rose to the occasion. Uh, and I just want to thank them again publicly and their staff uh, on the ground for their diligence through this ordeal. The next challenge uh, for the Allen Temple AIDS Ministry is to move beyond this incident, which they are doing, uh, and to ensure that their patients in Zimbabwe are able to get the care and the treatment that they need and that they deserve. It's my hope, and I'm confident, that the Allen Temple AIDS Ministry will continue its mission to serve the people of Zimbabwe. All governments, whether here in the United States or in Zimbabwe, have a clear obligation to ensure that their people are able to access medical care and support without fear of stigma and discrimination or arbitrary legal barriers. Health care uh, is and should be a basic uh, fundamental human right. The idea uh, is a driving principle behind a new United Nations-led effort, which I am a part of, which directly relates to what we're talking about today, and that's to break down legal barriers of accessing health care for people living with HIV and AIDS, and establish for the very first time a global commission on HIV and the law. Our goal on that commission is to develop a set of human rights recommendations to establish effective legal environments to help national governments combat HIV and AIDS with a view to understanding and utilizing models. Allen Temple AIDS Ministry is a model that I've talked about actually in Brazil at our meeting, uh, and policies that have been proven to work. I'm the only commissioner from the United States on that commission. And so I have, on that commission, brought uh, our own unique condition and history and perspective to this issue to the United Nations. 
We have to make sure that the law is structured and enforced continues to work on behalf of vulnerable, marginalized, and AIDS-impacted countries and communities, and not against them. So I look forward to joining uh, my fellow commissioners as we examine this subject over the next year, uh, including, and when we were in Brazil a couple of weeks ago, uh, I asked them to come to Oakland to do a regional meeting. Uh, and they had not even thought about coming to the United States. Um, as I said, I'm the only uh, American commissioner. And so I asked them to do that. They're going to uh, consider that. And so I would want the Allen Temple AIDS Ministry to be part of that effort if we do have the UN Commission come to Oakland, California. So we're going to continue to work uh, to do that. In addition to plan for AIDS relief, which I helped write and co-sponsored, that's called PEPFAR. Also, uh, increasing our contributions uh, to the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. We were able to get a commitment of, I believe it was $4 billion for um, three years. I want $6 billion. 100 members of Congress uh, sent a letter to the President and said, minimal $6 billion. So we're working to try to increase that. But I share this with you because I just want you to know, Pastor Smith and Gloria and, and all of you, that we're working very hard to not only not allow us to go back, but to increase funding for everything that you're doing, uh, everything that people throughout the world needs uh, as a result of this devastating pandemic. We were able to lead the charge in Congress to lift the travel ban that allowed now people living with the virus to come to the United States. As a result of that, we got a commitment to have the um, AIDS conference here in the United States. And so we'll be having an international AIDS conference in 2012 in Washington, D.C. And again, I've asked the Secretariat to host a regional meeting prior to the, to the um, conference uh, here in Oakland, California, so that Allen Temple uh, can have some in, input and impact, and so that my entire district, uh, who has been in the forefront, really, in participating in these international AIDS conferences throughout the world. I, I remember Dr. Scott, at the first or second one I went to, what was that, in Durban? Durban. In Durban, South Africa. <clears throat> They're talking about... Um, why it's important to make sure that the African-American um, pandemic is part of the global pandemic and that the response should be not only international, but also should be um, global to include the United States. And so thank you again very much for your leadership. This has, what, what the Allen Temple AIDS Ministry uh, has done and continues to do has wide range impact, not only here in Oakland, California, but throughout the world, and I'm very proud of you.